You upsiders ready to go down under? <laughs> Pops means, do you want to come to our house? <laughs> We're running away! Come on! Go get him! <laughs> come back! <laughs> the door's open! Not in my best stew pot. <laughs> um, why don't you play in the living room? <laughs> oh no! Stand back! Ooh. Well, that should keep them quiet for a bit. <gasps> They've squished Bosch my rocking bike. Don't worry, Bodge. They're only little. I'll soon fix your rocking bike. They've squish-boshed my accordion. Don't worry, Pops. They're only little. We'll soon fix up your accordion. Supper, everybody! Mmm. <coughs> Beetroot and custard sandwiches. Mmm. Ooh, I've been looking forward to these, Mimi. Help yourselves, every... One... Huh? It's lucky Mum told them to be on their best behaviour. <laughs> well, the little cherubs certainly were hungry. <laughs> Some of us still are. Oh, oh, come back! <laughs> oh, they're unstoppable. How can we make them sleep? Oh, I know, I know. How about a boogie? That always wears me out. That's a top idea, Bodge. I'll put on a little concert for them. Round them up, cowboy. Yee-haw! <laughs> Ready to boogie, Trichlet? Wait up, Come on, fun. here we go. We've got the place. <laughs> We've got together. I hope this night won't last forever. Let's all try to get some sleep tonight. Oh! Ow! Oh, ow! Oh. Ouchie! <gasps> Screw! They're a tough crowd tonight, Mimi. Oh, stop, stop, stop! It's time for bed! But it's not seven o'clock yet. It is now. What's the matter, Mia? They want to know when they're going to sleep. Ooh, hmm. That's a point. I know, Pops. Let's make the beds. Come on. <laughs> OK. You can look now. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> well, knock me down with a wet barracuda. My very own drum kit. Oh, it's just what I've always wanted. Give him a go, girl. <laughs> They're great. And I'll give you my extra special present later, Mimi, at your party. Ah! <laughs> present? Oh, what is it, Bodge? What is it? <laughs> We're just off to make it. Enjoy your drums. Here 
here it is, Bodgy Boy. We can record your very own song for Mimi on my trusty old tape recorder. I can't wait to play it for her at the party. It'll be a great present, Bodge. A present right from the heart. Let's make music! <laughs> OK, Pops, recording. Song for Mimi, take one. Mimi, gentle and sweet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mimi. Come on, Bodge, let's find a quieter spot. Ah, that's much better. Two. Hit it, Pops! Oh. Oh. What's that noise? Now we're cooking! I'm getting into training for the disco dancing at Mimi's party tonight! Check this out! It's Deepak Disco Fever! I oh, think we'd better go somewhere else, Bodge. See you later, <gasps> Mr. Niblet. Yay! Woo! Oh, just the spot. A lovely, peaceful pond. OK, then. Take three. <laughs> oh, OK. Take four. <laughs> Hello! I'm mowing the grass for Mimi's party. Want to get on up? Thanks, Mr Cloppity, but... Uh... We're busy recording a song for Mimi. See you tonight. OK, see you on the dance floor. <laughs> Don't forget to switch off the recorder, Bodge. Oops. <laughs> Not to worry. We've got all day to record Mimi's special song. Whoa! Get down! Whoa! How do you like my new turbo stunt wing that Dad bought me? It's buzzy, whizzy, busy. <laughs> Just watch her go! I like this. Um. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Um. Glad you wah, like it. Oh, a horse on skis. <laughs> it's a rocking horse. It rocks. What's its name? I don't know. Hey, let's make a picture. Come on, Bodge. You draw too. We a rainbow. A big rainbow. Oh, it is. Big. Rainbows are huge, especially in the outback. What is the outback? It's where I used to live. Outback rainbows fill the sky with stripy magical colours. So where are the stripy magical colours? Hmm. You don't have any, Rupa. But I've got lots at home. Let's go get them. Or they make a mess. What are you looking at, Mr Cloppity? <laughs> Hello, Bodge. Hello, Rupa. I'm looking at clouds. It looks like rain. That's OK. We're going to play inside in my new playroom. We're going to make a big, colourful outback rainbow, as bright as your umbrella. Oh, rainbows. One of life's great wonders. Now, what are the seven colours of a rainbow? Don't tell me. It's red. Orange. Got a dash, Mr. Cloppity. <laughs> See you later. Pink? Is that a pink? Huh. 
So, when do you think you'll get the stinky sinky? Unblocked, Pops. Soon as I find the sink plunger, Mimi. Gotta be here somewhere. Oh, no plunger under there. But the good news is, I found my old mouth harp. Mimi, Pops, we're going to make a rainbow, like in the Outback. Oh, an Outback rainbow, eh, Botch? Like a big upside downy smile in the sky. Ew, what's that smell? Sorry, Rupa. It's our stinky sinky. And I can't find my plunger to unblock it. Hmm. I could tidy it for you. I'm a great tidier. Well, if you're sure, Rupa. And I'll get my arty stuff. <laughs> there. All tidy. And I found your plunger thingy. Rupa, you are a mini marvel. Rupa, Rupa, let's get bodgy splodge with all my colours. Yay! <laughs> We're going to make a big outback rainbow. <laughs> <gasps> they have chalk, Deepak. Coloured chalk. So, Mr Cloppity said rainbows have red in them. Yes, red! Big red! Then orange! Yellow! And green! Blue! What about blue? And indigo! Hmm, it's almost done, but something's not quite right. One, two, three, four... Five, six. There's a colour missing. There should be seven colours in a rainbow. It's Hello, Mr Niblet. Can Rupa come out to play? It's a lovely sunny day. Hi, Bodge. 998. I'm afraid she... 999. Can't see you. 1,000. She's not at all well. Has Rupert got the sneezy snafferoos too? The sneezy what now? Oh, I see. Yes, she's full of cold. Ooh. Hup, 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 hup. Huh? <gasps> Hello, Bodge. Hello, Rupert. Yeah. I wonder if Gavin can play. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Bodge. As you can see, nothing can get in or out of the Germ Buster 900i. Oh, no. Gavin's got the sneezy snuffers too. <laughs> yes, he therefore requires total isolation. Time for your medicine, Gavin. Yeah. <coughs> Don't worry, Gavin. I'll find a way we can play together. Hello. Oh, hello. It's for you. Just putting it through. Hello, Grandma. Hmm. Aha! I just had a bunch of boom idea! <laughs> All my friends have the sneezy snuffaroos and can't come out to play. But my bunch of boom idea will soon get everyone having fun together. Let's get budging! And so I said... Can you hear me, Mother? <laughs> I gets me every time. Mr. Cloppity? <laughs> have you got any leftover yogurt pots and string? Ah, ah yes. Uh, well, uh, I think so, Bodge. Why? 
All my friends have got the sneezy snuffaroos and they can't come out to play. Oh, dearie me. That doesn't sound good. So I'm going to make chatty pots so we can all have fun even if we aren't together. Oh, chatty pots are the perfect answer. Here, and remember, always keep the string tight, Bodge. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? <coughs> yes, I'm here. <coughs> I can hear you loud and clear. <coughs> this is uh, amazing. <coughs> Borge, it's brilliant. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Now we can all have fun and talk to each other. Nice one, Gabbo. We'll have some fun with this later. But, uh... Let's go and see some stars, shall we? <laughs> Tonight we're gonna see some stars. Tonight we're gonna see some stars. With any luck we might see Mars. With any luck we might see Mars. <laughs> Softly, does it? With any luck, we might see Mars. Oh, twinkly stars shine really oh. bright. Twinkly stars shine really bright. But only when it's dark at night. But only when it's dark Mr. at Cloverty, night. Mr. Cloverty! Mr. Cloverty! What are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> hello, Bodge. I'm doing a spot of night fishing. Oh, you caught anything yet? Uh, uh, not yet. Ah, but the night is still young. And what a beautiful one it is. Just look at how the glittering moon and stars reflect on the silent pool, adorned with twinkly diamonds on a blanket of Prussian blue, like precious jewels on a bed of spun silk, rippling and quivering like the leaves on it. Ah, yeah. Oh. Couldn't agree more, Mr. Cloppity. <laughs> Hope you catch one. Bye. <laughs> I'll try. Mm. Ooh. Wow! Ooh! Wow, amazing! Amazing. You know, in the outback, there are so many stars. They're like little naps in the sky. Ooh. And if you were ever lost, they'd lead you right back home. Wow, that's so cool. Stars are amazing, aren't they? <laughs> What's so funny, Bodge? I can see Pops' hat in the sky. <laughs> yeah! <Ooh. laughs> And look, there's a ukulele. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe that's mine too. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I had a star of my own. It could twinkle under my pillow. Well, that would never happen. Huh? My astro gazer says stars are as hot as fire. They'd burn a big hole in your pillow. Don't be silly, Gavin. I'm going to catch one. <laughs> I'm OK. <laughs> I'm going for that one. Oh! <laughs> oh, missed. Well, I'm not 
surprised. It's impossible to catch a star. The astrogazer says that one is a hundred million gazillion light years away. Look! Mm. Wow, it's so big and pretty! <laughs> Pops is going to have to wait to get his hat back. The giggly warbler has turned it into her home. Oh, dear. Pops may be hatless, but she will be homeless. Oh, no. Anyway, I need to fill up my flask. You can keep an eye on our special bird. Okie dokie, Mr Cloppity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Pops. Let's sing a happy song. That always cheers you up. Take it away, Pops. I'm feeling sort of flat. We really need to find your hat. Well, I think it's silly using your dad's hat as a nest. Hmm. Ah, ah, Ooh. Ah. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be dental. All these happy flappy birds are proper nests, not Pops' hat. Where are you going, Budge? To get twigs and leaves. We're going to be on a proper nest, fit for a giggly warbler. Come on! <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, what's that? We made uh, this for the Giggly Warbler. It's a proper nest. So the Giggly Warbler can use this instead of Pops's hat. Well, it's certainly cosy with all these leaves. Quality craftsmanship. Come on, Birdie. We've made you a new home. It isn't working. Oh, wait a minute. Something's happening. <coughs> well, look at that. It's just laid an egg. Pops's hat is now a proper nest. I'm afraid we can't move it now. Quite wonderful. So how long will it be before Pops can have his hat back, Mr Cloppity? Oh, it'll just be a few weeks before the egg hatches. Weeks? But Pops needs his hat now. Doesn't Pops have another hat? Hmm. I've just had a bunch of boom idea. Oopsie. <laughs> the giggly warbler doesn't want my nest, but I know someone who might. Let's get budging! <laughs> Boo! I found your hat, Pops! You found it? Yes! But you can't have it. A really rare bird has laid an egg in it. It won't hatch for weeks. Well, it sounds like that bird needs my hat more than I do. Ah, I'd better let it be. But you can wear this until you get your old one back. Well, I'm not sure. Nice hat, Pops. It really suits you. It does? Oh, lovely leafy lining too. <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, adventure camp. And the greatest adventure of all, discovering each other. For, just as one must never judge a book by its cover, nor a... Uh, uh... A toy by its colour. So too must you look deeper to find your true friends. So ask yourselves, we adventurers, what am I like? Hmm. And in a way, Mr Clappity. 
Of course you do, Hodge. Off you go. Uh. It's Mr Cloppity. I know. Our first activity is shelter building. Using sticks and leaves, each team must make a watertight shelter. Let's get building. Let's use these sticky sticks. Well, Bodge, that's clever. Pop showed me. It's how he made shelters in the outback. Are these good, Bodge? They're perfect, Gavin. It's a good job I brought my shelter building book. I know how to make the best stickity shelter ever. Give me a hand, Denzel. Coming. <sighs> there isn't one of those in this diagram. Team Podge seem to be working well together, Mr Clopperty. I wish the same could be said for young Hodge's team, Miss Clippity. It's all wonky and wobbly. It's how they are in the outback. These flowers will make it look pretty. <laughs> Time to test your shelters. <laughs> In you get. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the rain. Ah! I'm dry. Me too. Hooray! <laughs> There's a westerly squall coming in. <laughs> Time we use my book. Mm. Whoa, yes. Whoa. Be careful. That's okay. I'm going to have this pineapple and potato smoothie all to myself. <laughs> Gary! It's only us! We've brought Deepak's special fruit salad. And I've got cheese. <laughs> and I've made a cake. And the party's not a party without my inflatable party chair. And here's the Hey Diddle Griddle 3000. It's the complete outdoor cooking solution. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. And here's our guest of honour, Baby. Hey, giggly puggies. Mimi and Pops have told me all about you. You must be Julie. Look at the size of those ears. <laughs> you could get my whole jewellery box dangling off those beauties. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't mean they're massive in a bad way. Uh, I mean... Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, hello, kiddos. Who wants to play a game? Come on. Well, let's all get ourselves too excited. It... News flash. Galaxy guys just landed in Rupert's garden. Let's get him out and play with him. <gasps> you can't take it out of the box. It might get damaged. What's the point in having a toy you can't play with? Take it out of the box. No, because my dad says, once taken out of the box, it has no intrinsic collectible value. What does that mean? Uh, uh, I don't know. It might get broken. Hey, I know. Why don't we make our own robots out of the recycling? Look, we can use pots as legs. And cereal boxes for bodies. Yes. What can we use for arms? How about these cardboard tubes? Perfect! Then all we need are these plastic boxes for the heads and we've got two clunkety junk bots! Yay! <laughs> Your robots need capes, like Galaxy Guys. How about using this? I'll do it! No, me. It was my idea. But you've already got a robot. Ooh. <coughs> hey, stop. I've got a great idea. Huh? Let's make a raggedy rope and have a tug of war. Welcome to Robot Tug of War, live from Giggly Park. <coughs> Pull, bot, bot. <coughs> Oh, 
It's a sensation. Watch what is pulling hard. But it's no match for Robo Rupa. Hooray! Again, again. Oh, look at all this clutter. It's not clutter. We've made hats, telescopes and robots. And ropes, trumpets and drinky plinkers. And a television. And that is the end of the news. Oh, Mr Cloppity, where are you? Hmm, it's a giggly mystery. I'm going to find him. Back soon. <laughs> He's not here. He's not here either. He must be somewhere. Oh, <laughs> what's that roomy splat noise? Oh, dearie me. Oh, hey. huh? found you. <laughs> oh, hello, Bodge. What are you doing here, Mr Cloppity? Ugh, my buggy's stuck in the mud. I haven't got a clue how to pull free and finish my recycling round. Oh. Hmm. 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 I've just had a bodge of boom idea. Wait here, Mr Cloppity. <laughs> I'm going nowhere, Bodge. Mr Cloppity's stuck. In the stickity mud. And the recycling needs picking up. But I know a way we can all pull together and come to the rescue. Let's get budging! Oh, Budge Budge is super strong! Mr. Cloppity's in trouble! <gasps> We're going to need all the help we can get. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I'm Bodge. Mmm. Today's the day Mrs Wolf makes a special big soup. Mmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Hi, Mrs Wolf. Hi, Denzel. Hi, Bodge. Why have you got the sniffity boos? <laughs> We're not crying, Bodge. We're just <laughs> cutting up onions. <laughs> they make your eyes water. They're for a special big soup. We put the onions in for flavour. And water to make it soupy. But we don't have our main ingredient. What's that? Carrots. Carrots. Mr Cloppity should have brought them by now. But he hasn't turned up. Hmm. I'll go and see if he needs help. Be back soon. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hiya, Mr Cloppity. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Oh. Hello, young Bodge. Are those the carrots for Mrs Wolf? They are, Bodge. But they're not what I was expecting. Oh, they're tiddly ones. <laughs> I can't understand it, Bodge. Last year's was a bumper crop. But this, it's not even a mouthful, let alone a big soupful. Ah, Mother Nature, so mysterious in her ways. We plant with high hopes, tend and water, only to harvest with despair. Mr. Cloppity, one last carrot. <laughs> oh. Here, let me help, Bodge. Hey. Oh, my, my, this is a spirited wee vegetable. Oh, Mr. Cloppity, are you all right? You went all lolly splat. Ah, uh, yes, so I did. <laughs> um, <clears throat> nothing like a nice bit of compost to soften the fall, eh, Bodge? Yes, that was lucky, Mr. Cloppity. <laughs> Pooey! What is that smell? Ugh, smells like my granddad's old socks. 
More like old cabbages. Uh, uh, yes, well, uh, it's an early bath for me, then. <laughs> what are you doing, Budge? Me and Mr Cloppity were trying to pull up that carrot. It's from Mrs Wolf's big soup. Can we help? Yes, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Ready! Steady! Pull! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, this isn't working. <sighs> I'm tired with all this pulling. I know. I'll burrow down and see why the carrot is stuck. <gasps> Whoa! It's a whopper! If you pull from up here, I'll push from down there. OK? OK, okay Butch! Yippee! <laughs> Gone. My little Stuart. Gone. Oh, poor you. <laughs> I really loved my pet, and now I'll never see him again. Huh? Hi, Budge. What's wrong with Mia? Her first ever pet buzz flapped away. And I'll never, ever, ever see my little pet ever, ever, Ever again. Hmm. Well, this will cheer you up, Mia. You can see all sorts of creepy coolies with my Mega Magnifier 850. Ooh! Hey, Mia! It's Stuart! Stuart? My pet! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Let me see! Me! Me! Oh. This one has two black spots on its back. Stuart has three spots. Oh. Don't be down, Mia. We can search for him using Gavin's Mega Magaly Fire. My Mega Magnifier? But it could be anywhere. <laughs> then let's look everywhere. It'll be fun. We're all going on an insect safari. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's no good. We've looked everywhere. Mia, over here. Oh, let me see. Nope, six spots. They love this funny-looking plant. Mmm, this has five spots. And this has... Oh, one. Not three. <sighs> We're not giving up yet, Mia. Let's go to Mr. Cloppity's allotment. There's lots of insects there. Ooh! Here's another one. They like these vegetables. Let's see. Nope. Four spots, not three. Ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a wiggly worm. But no Stuart. <laughs> Hey, look. Where? There. One spot. Two spots. Three spots. <gasps> it's Stuart, my special pet. <laughs> <laughs> you better put it in your box before it flies away again. Oh, yes. It's time to come home, Stuart. Oh, hello, you three. Hello, hello Mr Cloppity. What are you doing this fine day? We've been on an insect safari. Searching for Mia's pet. And I found him. Right here. Oh, a little ladybird. <laughs> That's a funny name. His actual real name is Stuart. Ho, <laughs> ho, Ladybirds do so much good work. They keep flowers like my geraniums healthy and happy. Ah, <sighs> insects, the guardians of Giggly Park. A buzz in the brambles, a flutter in the forest. Tiny, busy creatures flying all around us. So wee and so free. 
I'll bet Stuart really loves being free too, Mia. Oh, yes. Mr Cloperty's right. I can't put you in a box, Stuart. You've got work to do in Giggly Park. I won't. Oh! oh! I can't get it to fly far enough in the air. Hmm. Ha ha! But I think I've just had a bunch of boom idea how I can get it there. Don't go away. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know where I'll be, Budge. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. What am I like? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Poor Mr. Cloperty's all stickity stuck in the weeds. But my bunch of boom idea can get the rope to him and make it a game that Gavin and Denzel can play together. Let's get budging! <laughs> Gavin, Denzel, I've got a brilliant new game we can all play together. What is it, Butch? It's called Giggly Park Rescue Squads. But we've got to work as a team. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, team, to the lake. <laughs> huh? Giggly Park Rescue Squad to the rescue. Keep well back from the edge, team. Would you that? Go on. It. Yay! Yay! Great to work, Pilot Gavin. OK, Farmer Denzel, your turn. <laughs> Come on, my beauty. <laughs> I'll give him a push. <laughs> it's working. Here I come. I never thought I'd see dry land again. Thank you, Rescue Squad. All in a day's work, Mr Cloperty. That was the best game ever. It was. Just a shame it's finished now. <sighs> <gasps> that sounds like Mrs Niblet. Oh, no! And she sounds like she needs help. This sounds like a job for... Rescue, Rescue Squad. Squad! To the Giggly Park Rescue Mobile! Ah, yes. Where would we be without the Giggly Park Rescue Squad? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. My briefcase fell open and all my papers have dropped out. You rescue squad. <laughs> rescue squad. Ah! They're getting away. is being a magician tonight and Bodge is his assistant. Do you and Pops want to come? I wouldn't miss it for the world. What about you, Pops? Whoa! <laughs> Count me in two, Denzel. <laughs> now, Bodge, an assistant helps a magician do magic tricks. So I may ask you to hand me things like uh, my magic wand. It's the black stick with two white ends. 
Huh? Oh, what? Hand it me with a bit of pizzazz. You know, dance about a bit. <laughs> Amazing Cloppity. Well, yes, yes, just like that. Ooh. Are you going to do your big box vanishing trick too? Uh, I think not. I can't risk it. Not again. Um, behold, the magic rings. The magic rings, please, Bodge. Ooh, okie dokie. Ta-da! I can't wait until tonight, Mr. <coughs> Amazing Cloppity. <coughs> Me neither. Okay. Hiya, Budge! I wonder if this is going to be any good. Good day! Do you want to see some magic? Yeah! 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 We sure do, Budgie Boy. Then here he is, Mr. Amazing Cloppity. Yeah! Yes, yes. <laughs> Behold, the magic rings. Ta-da! Why, thank you, Assistant Bodge. I shall now do the impossible and separate. The magic rings. Uh, 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 yes, <laughs> the the magic <sighs> bothersome rings. Blackbird. Uh, 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 <laughs> the impossible magic rings. Thank you. My top hat, please, Assistant Bodge. Ta-da! Thank you. I shall now pull a teddy bear from this top hut. Ooh! Alakazam! Alakazam! Behold, one teddy bear! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's a funny teddy bear, Mr. Amazing Cloppity. Hmm? No! <laughs> uh, I wondered where I'd put that. <laughs> Isn't that a oh. duck? Was that supposed to happen like that? Shame. Oh, dear. This cloppity isn't very amazing, is he? You could always do your big box vanishing trick. Oh, I think not, Bodge. Poor dear Paloma. Besides, I don't have a vanishing box. Hmm. I've just had a bunch of boom idea. I'll be right back. Bye. Um, pick a card, Dr. Woof. <laughs> Where's your back to Mr. Cloppity's shed? Okie dokie. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Rupa. Hi, Gavin. Hi, Denzel. Hi. What are you doing? We're riding round our obstacle course. Do you want to have a go? Don't you want to take your training wheels off first, Mia? I I haven't learnt to ride a big two-wheelie yet. Puh! There's nothing to it. I never needed training wheels. I was a natural. Oh. Yes, but some people learn quicker than others. That's true. Mia's brilliant at roly-polies, but Gavin can't roly-poly at all. <sighs> and I can't walk on stilts like Denzel can. And anyway, it doesn't matter how you ride your bike. Look at me. I don't even have pedals. <laughs> <laughs> Are you frightened of falling off, Mia? Mm. I was scared of falling when my dad took my training wheels off. But look at me now. Whee! <laughs> Whee! See? Whoa! We're going on a big, big bike ride. Do you want to come? <laughs> oh, yes. That sounds fun, but... Let's go! Yay! <laughs> Come catch me! Yee, come on! Come on, Mia! <laughs> <laughs> I love riding bikes. It's so cool. <laughs> huh? <sighs> oh, what 
What's the matter? I can't go on a big, big bike ride with baby training wheels. Hmm. Then let's take them off. Take them off? Yes, and I can show you how to ride on a big two-wheeler. <sighs> OK. Let's try. Ah! No, no, no! We're going too fast! Oh, ah! Whoa! We haven't moved yet. Oh. Don't let go, though. Don't worry. You'll soon get the hang of it. Whoa! Slow down! We're going to crash! Keep on going! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Yay! You're so speedy, really, Mia! Ah! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Are you hurt, Mia? Yes! Uh, no. Well, a little bit. And look at my tattered fairy wing. Oh, dear. Maybe your mum can sticky fix it. It's no good. I'll never be able to ride without training wheels. <gasps> my training wheels are babyish. My costume's babyish. I'm babyish. No, you're not. And your costumes are great. I'll never go on a big, big bike ride. And, and even if I did, what if I had a big, big bike fall and hurt myself? Hmm... Wait a minute. I think you and your costumes have given me a bunch of boom idea. I'll be right back. <laughs> me is scared of going crash boss off a bike, but my bunch of boom idea will soon have a riding on two wheels without any worries. Let's get bodging! <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Twitch. Can I borrow Mia's dressing up box, please? Oh, yes, of course you can, Bodge. Well, he's really cuddly and orange and stripey. Hmm, can you remember where you went with him? Hmm, the swings? The swings! I wanted to show him how high we could go. Come on, let's search there. Wait for me! Nope. Snugsy's not at the swing stencil. Oh, dear. I know. Let's climb to the top of the slide. We can see all around from up there. Ooh! Look, Denzel, a little hat. Oh, it's Snugsy's hat. Yay! He must be here somewhere. Come on, wee! <laughs> woo <-hoo. laughs> He's not on the sea. Or on the sword. He's not on the swingy boingers either. Where else did you go with him? Hmm. I remember we went to the sand pit. To the sand pit. Hmm. <gasps> Look, Denzel. <gasps> There's Snugsy's boots. He must be here, Bodge. Leave this to me. <laughs> no Snugsy. <laughs> Not here either. <laughs> He's not here. It's no good. We'll never find him. Don't give up, Denzel. You've just got to think really, really hard. Did you go anywhere else? Hmm. Oh, yes. I remember I took Snugsy to the den in the woods. And I'll bet he's there waiting for us right now. Come on. Ooh. Huh? Hey, look. In the den, something orange and stripy. Is it Snugsy, is it? 
No, but it is my special beach ball. The one I lost. I found it. Oh, yes. It looks a bit squished. It's all squish-popped. Sorry, Bodge. Maybe your dad can fix it later. Good plan, Denzel. Let's put it in your backpack. We've got a Snugsy to find. It's no good, Bodge. He's lost forever. You can't give up now, Denzel. We found my beach ball together. We can find Snugsy together too. <sighs> I suppose so. What's that noise? It's coming from Mia's house. Come on. You've got to share. Stop pulling. <gasps> Snugsy! Mia, Mia, make them stop. That's Snugsy, Denzel's teddy. Denzel's teddy? But I found him in the woods. Together we can make and do an end Bosh, together the fun will never end Bosh, together we are making you a friend Bosh, the fun will never end